Welcome to the seminar organized by the Institute of Postgraduate Studies and Research, University of Fabul Rahman, in collaboration with the Malaysian Association for Education. This afternoon, Dr. Anders Atomlat will speak on Metaphors as tools in research and education. Without much further ado, may I present Dr. Anders Atomlat. I was actually uh, going to uh, plan to do a, a short thing with you before the actual seminar stops and before I present myself. I want you to read something. And I have it on here, but you would have to step forward because the letters are too small. We have Malaysian Division 2020. <laughs> Perfect. When you read it, Please consider, please read it very carefully. It's a short article from yesterday's or the days before a uh, newspaper here in Malaysia, in English. And I would like you to please note every word, every word that if you interpret it literally, it is false. Every word that if you interpret it literally, then the world is false. Okay? Let's try it. <coughs> this is from New Straits Times. Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Please, if you can't read it uh, in the back, please come forward, step forward and read it. And note every word that, if it's interpreted literally, then it's false. I think you have got the only opportunity to at least read the first part of it. Uh, is everything true in this article if you interpret every word as in its literal sense? For instance, is there anyone who has found a word? Yes? We need a microphone, please. I can take the hand. Is it on?
the sen the last sentence of the one, two, three, four of the fourth paragraph, rather still deep inside the head of a seventeen year old. Okay, what is not true with this? Actually, we do not need to literally you know, dig into the open okay. up the head and then dig into the head. <laughs> yeah. Inside the head. Actually, yeah, you don't think so? Yeah. Yeah, dig inside of one's head. Yes. If we take that literally, then it's false. Yes. It's like doing post mortem. Okay. I, I, I hope that it is true what you say because otherwise it would be dangerous to <laughs> be in this area. I think very dangerous. Thank you. Anyone more who have seen something which is not true if it's taken literally? No one? Well, I think this is interesting. We shouldn't have a, a very thorough discussion about it because I'm not sure about the customs here in Malaysia. But the argument of whether entrepreneurs are born or made I'm not sure how to interpret it, but if they are born or made. Of course, all entrepreneurs are born. <laughs> or, is the, have you ever met a human being who is not born? Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> Anyone who has seen something else, which is, if it's taken literally, then it's false. Your passion will lead you. Well, my passion, I, let's say that I'm in love with someone. Will, will this lead me in this project to have to become an entrepreneur? I like you so much, I like you so much. And then I will become a perfect entrepreneur. No? Uh, green technology. My computer is black and silver, not green. Actually, I don't know what they mean with green technology because I haven't seen any, which is actually literally green. Uh, I mean, this, this text and all other texts you read daily in the newspapers, they are actually full of metaphors in the sense that there are many words which, if you take them literally, then they are false. This is the easiest way to explain what a metaphor is. Metaphors could be used in many different ways. They could be uh, which I will describe later, dead or alive, etc. Actually, that's a metaphor in itself, of course. Uh, but this was just a short practice to get to, to uh, offer you some kind of a feeling of what a metaphor is, and that our language is absolutely full of it. Some even claim that all the language is metaphorically, is metaphorical, because we use knowledge from an area that we know better in order to understand something that we understand less of. That's the, the whole issue with that. Not only in novels, but also in any newspaper, you will find lots of metaphors. Just to pick, then this was the first article I read. I was searching for an article with metaphors, and this was the absolutely first. I read in that movie. Yes, so.